Let's fix your shoulders in under five minutes. So we're gonna kind of break this down into a few places. First and foremost, uh, the biggest, the, the problem, right? And the biggest reason why we have shitty posture is that one, you know, we sit at a desk all the time. So our shoulders become rolled forward, our, our spine becomes very uh, flexed here, okay? Not extended. Sometimes we have like high shoulders and our butt's back. We got a weird pelvic tilt going on. But either way, this is going to get you out of the nonsense that's sitting at your desk for 15 uh, to 20 to 40 to 60 hours a week does, okay? So first and foremost, we're gonna attack, uh, we're gonna attack the shoulders. So the, uh, the problem here, right, is shoulders. We have our back, okay? We have our chest, okay? We have our hips, right? And then we're talking about the knees. Now, are there other things that happen with this uh, posture nonsense? Yes, Surrey Bob, you guessed it right. There are other things that are happening, but we're gonna look at in under five minutes, how can we attack all these places and be ready to rock and roll. Um, now, when I say hips, I'm talking about both the pelvis, right? And hip flexors, okay? Um, and when we're talking about shoulders, we're talking about all around, chest, just normal chest, right? Back, we're talking about quadratus lumbar, QLs, and right, upper back. Not really lats, but upper back. Um, and then when we're talking about knees, we're talking about the, the nonsense that's caused by sitting at a 90 degree angle all the time. So that will be, um, you know, basically isometric holding at 90. So uh, with all of this, how can we attack fixing this? Because, and I, I'm gonna kind of walk you through the problem here. So the shoulders, right, we find ourselves in a position where we have an, a rounded upper back, right? Our chest is super tight, we can't open it. Uh, we can't reach overhead, right? Our lats are kind of stuck, right? We can't reach overhead. Our butt is usually angled back like we're an Instagram influencer, right? Our knees are, are creaky or stiff or, or a little bit, um, you know, a little bit almost not awake. It's like we just woke up and we tried to run a 5K without doing any kind of mobilization or anything, straight from dead asleep there, right? And then we're talking about our hips. We've got this pulling, right? This pulling in our, uh, just above our groin area, under the belly button, and uh, our pelvis is going kind of all over the place. Maybe you have a, you know, a left right tilt, maybe you have a front back tilt. Uh, either way, we're gonna kind of break this down because the sitting is the problem. So if you're someone that's sitting, right? You're sitting uh, somewhere between eight to 10 hours a day, this is for you, okay? Because all of these things happen by very nature of just sitting in a, in a being in a seated position at the computer, looking down at keyboard or looking at, at, uh, at your screen. Same thing can happen with your phone, but it's less aggressive as, uh, well, unless you're like out here walking like this, but for most people inside of uh, an office, this is what's happening. So uh, let's attack it kind of one, one on one, right? So shoulders. Now, before we even dive into this, you're like, how can we do this in five minutes, right? How can we do this whole thing in five minutes? Well, we're gonna break down a few stretches and a few mobilizations for you to be able to open this up and be ready to rock and roll. So shoulders, first and foremost, the number one prescribed thing that I would do here, we're talking about hanging from bar, okay? So this could be your banister on your stairs, this could be a landing that you're hanging off of, this could be a pull-up bar in your door, this could be at the gym, um, this could be a Smith machine and, and starting to do that. Um, what we're going to do is we're gonna shoot for doing our very best to work up to a place where we can hang for a minute 30 straight. But for, um, for ease of conversation today, what I want you to do is get to a place where we start with maybe five, 10 or 15 seconds hanging on the bar, completely dead hang. When I say completely dead hang, I mean arms are up, um, all the weight is, is in your hands, right? Gravity's doing the rest. And what you're doing is you're bringing chin to chest and completely relaxing. You're not holding tension, not trying to pull back. Now, you might not be able to start with full body weight dead hang because that's a little aggressive. And if you haven't done that, you're gonna feel a big pull on, on your traps, a big pull on your triceps, a big pull on the front of your shoulders, uh, and a big pull on your chest. And so what we wanna do is make sure that we just start getting hanging, right? So like daily hanging, 
Let's just start at 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds of daily hanging. Now you're like, okay, back, what are we gonna do? Well, this is literally all you're gonna do. You're gonna stand straight, okay? Put your hand on the wall. You're gonna take your other foot behind you and all you're gonna do is reach this hand up and just slightly, with your hips still forward, slightly get your hand in line and just slightly lean over, okay? You're gonna do that on both sides. So it's very easy, your, your legs are crisscross applesauce, so foot is down, hand is on a wall, foot is behind, get your hand in line with your head and just barely reach over. You're gonna feel the left side of your obliques kind of crunching up, your midline, or your, excuse me, not your midline, your midsection on the, on the sides. You're gonna kind of crunch up a little bit as you reach over, very passive, not aggressive, okay? And you're gonna do that. You're gonna do, we're just gonna call that side sanding. Right, um, you're gonna do left and right, okay? And that's gonna be for 45 seconds each side. Now we're talking about chest. How can we open chest? What you could literally do is take a, so this is you, beep beep. This is you and you're on the ground, you're on your back, okay? You're gonna take a foam roller. We all know what a foam roller looks like, right? And you're gonna position yourself with your head on the foam roller and your legs are gonna be down here, and your hands are going to be out like this, like you're, <laughs> like you're saying score, goal post, right? And you're going to just lay the, the foam roller up your back, so it's gonna be in line with your spine. So if your spine snakes like this, right, up and down, foam roller is gonna be in the same dimensions on the ground, and you're just gonna be laying down goal post arms, let's rock and roll. So right there, we're already at two minutes, right? And so for the chest, we're gonna go we're gonna go one 45 second. So we'll call it the passive. Passive chest opener. Okay, and that's going to be just straight up uh, one 45 seconds. Okay, and now let's talk about the hips. So what we're gonna do with the hips, first and foremost, we're talking about hip flexors. So what gets super tight when we're sitting, ding, 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 you could Say that it's a psoas, right? It's part of it. Uh, but overall, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do something called a couch stretch. So you can look that up. <clears throat> you can look that up. We have videos of it on True Capacity and I have videos of it on my own personal YouTube. But we're gonna do couch stretch and we're at 245, right? So we're gonna go ahead and um, that is literally, I'll walk you through it. So you're, you're half kneeling, right? So you're half kneeling. That back foot then, the top of your foot is put onto a couch and you tilt your pelvis, you tuck your, you tuck your butt under, okay? You tuck your butt under here, and that rear foot is resting on the couch, on the middle of the couch, and the forward leg is foot all the way on the ground, 90 degree angle in your knee. You're stretching the foot that has, that's back, right, up on the couch. And so we're gonna do both sides. We're at 245 here, right? And um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, let's call it, you know, 30 seconds on each side, right? So we got a minute, we got two minutes, that makes three, 345. And then we're gonna talk about knees, okay? When we're sitting here and we're saying, oh man, my, my knees are in this position, right? This 90 degree lock position, they get a little, they get a little creaky, they get a little stiff. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called, oh, uh, it's a knees over toes exercise. I'm blanking on the name that Ben Patrick gives it, but essentially we're in a half kneeling position again. So we're half kneeling. Okay, so we'll just call it half kneeling. Flex holds. Okay, so what this is gonna be is we got one, we got three, we got 345, so that's gonna be We'll go 35 seconds on each side, continuous. And so what you're gonna be doing is in a half kneeling position, which is just one knee on the ground, one foot at 90 degrees, okay, on there, pelvis tilted under. What you're going to do is that front foot, you're gonna drive your knee over your toe, hold for a second, come back, right? Then drive your knee over your toe again, come back in a half kneeling position. And we are going to rock and roll 35 seconds on one side, 35 seconds on the other. And when you add all of that up, you go one minute, two minute, you go four minute, 45, 50, 55. That is four minutes and 55 seconds to fixing your posture. 
in one day. Now, you do this 455 every single day and you do nothing else and you're far, far better, leaps and bounds better than where you were previously when you're sitting at the desk all day. What you could also do is maybe just not sit as much, maybe stand as, maybe stand about half the time or a quarter of the time so you get a little bit more there. Maybe walk every hour on the hour for five minutes outside in the parking lot or every two hours for five minutes in the parking lot or every two hours for a minute in the parking lot. Maybe walk to your car and back. Walk out, you know, forward, walk back to the office backwards. You know, get some movement in there. But if you do nothing else and you just get this four minutes and 55 seconds, if you do that every day and you did this just like this, one round, never, never more than once, uh, you absolutely can. But if we're gonna keep it under five or right at five, if you did nothing else but this every single day, you'd be in a better position than probably 80 or 90% of everyone that walks around. So pretty low barrier to entry to get much better healthier uh, in under five minutes. Hope that helps.